Item Number SCP-3041 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-3041 is to be kept in a secure locker on site. Researchers are not to hold SCP-3041 or allow it to come into contact with their bare skin. As of May 22, 2015, all access to SCP-3041 is prohibited, pending further review. Furthermore, until this review is complete, the information below should be regarded as outdated and possibly inaccurate. Description SCP-3041 is a 12cm iron knife of unidentified origin with a hilt wrapped in braided leather. Radiometric dating shows inconclusive results for the age of the blade, but indicates that the hilt was added within the past two centuries. The knife's surface is rust-colored and smells of spoiled meat. Despite extensive analysis, a source for this odor has yet to be determined. SCP-3041 exhibits its anomalous property only once it has been held by a sapient subject for a certain period of time. The length of time required to trigger SCP-3041's effect varies widely. The underlying mechanism remains unknown. Once SCP-3041 has activated, subjects will eventually experience a dream wherein they use SCP-3041 to attack one or more persons, removing and consuming their hearts. This dream is set wherever the subject initially held SCP-3041, and typically involves victims one would expect to find in this setting. In all cases, subjects do not recognize their victims. No victim is known to correlate with an actual person, alive or dead. Subjects will often continue to have recurrences of this dream with little variation. Though amnestics reduce or even eliminate these occurrences, most subjects continue to show signs of emotional distress, guilt, and psychological trauma associated with PTSD. SCP-3041's effect can be triggered multiple times, producing new dreams in each case. SCP-3041 was found among the personal effects of Daniel Crenshaw, an elderly recluse and collector of historical antiques who committed suicide on February 15, 1987. SCP-3041's anomalous nature was discovered when, in reviewing the contents of Mr. Crenshaw's collection, a researcher began experiencing dreams similar to those described in Mr. Crenshaw's suicide note. Addendum 3041.1 Attachments Access SCP-3041 Tests Series 5 Open File Notably, this was the last series of tests performed with SCP-3041. Subject D-85373 Summary D-85373 was placed in a room alone with SCP-3041 and asked to hold it for 10 minutes. Result Sleep study revealed no unusual sleeping patterns. D-85373 reported no unusual dreams. Researcher Note Nothing unexpected. Subject D-85373 Summary D-85373 was placed in a room alone with SCP-3041 and asked to hold it for 10 minutes. Result Sleep study revealed acute night terrors. D-85373 described a nightmare in which she used SCP-3041 to ritualistically mutilate another occupant in the room over the course of 30 minutes, finally devouring his heart. Although D-85373 described the victim as someone wearing a D-Class uniform, the victim's description fit no D-Class personnel on site. Furthermore, no D-Class personnel on site were reported as absent or missing. Researcher Note Still unable to determine what triggers SCP-3041's effect. Possibly repetition of exposure? Subject D-85373 Summary D-85373 was placed in a room alone with SCP-3041 and asked to hold it for 10 minutes. Result Sleep study revealed acute night terrors. D-85373 described a new nightmare, in which she had used SCP-3041 to attack and mutilate a researcher who entered the room at the end of the test. No researcher on site fit D-85373's description. Furthermore, no researcher on site was reported as absent or missing. Researcher Note We ought to include additional D-Class personnel in the room during testing to see if they're incorporated in the subject's nightmares. Subject D-85373 Summary D-85373 was placed in a room alone with SCP-3041 and asked to hold it for 10 minutes. Result 
Sleep study revealed acute night terrors. D85373 now described a nightmare wherein she attacked and devoured the hearts of two D-Class personnel. Again, the description of the victims fit no on-site D-Class personnel, and no D-Class personnel were reported absent or missing. Researchers note, Despite having left explicit instructions to include additional D-Class personnel in the room, the test was carried out with only D85373. I will oversee the next test personally. Also, staff have started to complain of a peculiar smell in the lab. Link to SCP-3041. Subject, D85373. Summary, D85373 was placed in a room alone with SCP-3041 and asked to hold it for 10 minutes. Result, several hours into the test, D85373 doubled over and complained of extreme stomach pain. Shortly thereafter, she passed out. After being rushed to the infirmary, it was determined that her stomach had ruptured. She died shortly thereafter from septic shock. An autopsy gave no indication as to the cause. Despite pronounced swelling, her stomach was empty. Researcher note. After analysis of notes I took during this test, I found that I had made nine separate attempts to have two D-Class personnel enter the room. I have no recollection of doing this. In fact, outside of D85373, there are, and never have been, any D-Class personnel assigned to SCP-3041. On top of all this, the smell throughout the lab has become unbearable. I've ordered the immediate cessation of all tests with SCP-3041, pending review by the site director. Access, SCP-3041 Tests, Admin Memo Open File 2. Researchers Assigned to SCP-3041 Subject, Immediate Action, Cease All Testing After a careful review of laboratory procedures, test footage, and personnel records associated with SCP-3041, the following inexplicable discrepancies have been noted. Despite regulations requiring each SCP to have both a lead researcher and an assistant lead researcher, it appears only a lead researcher was assigned to SCP-3041. The reason behind this oversight is currently under review. Critical site-wide shortages of D-Class personnel have been reported since testing with SCP-3041 began. These shortages have yet to be explained. While no D-Class personnel appear to be absent or missing, only a fraction of the expected number of D-Class personnel are present. Despite each test with SCP-3041 reported as lasting only 10 minutes, video footage for each test ranges from 10 minutes to 4 hours. Furthermore, when viewed, this footage exhibits what is believed to be a cognitohazard effect. Only portions of the video can be perceived by viewers. Despite several thorough examinations, the labs used for testing SCP-3041 continue to smell of rotting meat. This effect remains unexplained, and is very likely anomalous. For these reasons, all testing with SCP-3041 is to be suspended until further notice. SCP-3041 is to be secured in an on-site safe box immediately. All labs used to test SCP-3041 are to undergo a Class 6 decontamination procedure, and all personnel involved in testing are to be examined for potential infection with antimimetic agents. Access, SCP-3041, Files, Suicide Note Open File The following note was found at Mr. Crenshaw's desk shortly after his body was discovered. The nightmare began a year ago, and it still won't stop. In it my arm is wet with blood, the knife in hand glittering like a brilliant shining ruby. My heart beats like a drum. Before me I see the faces of strangers, contorted in agony, screaming for mercy. A woman, a man, children, three girls, and a little baby boy. I do not know them. I cut them open. I cut them open and then I eat their hearts. I know it's just a nightmare, but it feels so real, so vivid. And there are times when I swear I can taste raw meat on the back of my tongue, when I can feel it slide down my throat, into my belly. I've lived a long, lonely life. I have never known friends or family. So why do I live in a house with so many rooms? Why does each room fill me with guilt and dread? Why can't I bring myself to go down to my basement? Why does it smell like rotting flesh? And why do I own a crib? My nightmare took place under the house. I've never gone down to look. I'm too afraid. If you're reading this, then you'll have to look for me. Maybe you'll find nothing. I pray you find nothing. Either I'm crazy, or I'm the devil. 
Please, God, let me be crazy. Despite a thorough investigation of Mr. Crenshaw's basement, researchers reported that the only thing of note was the overpowering odor of rancid meat. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Alexis the Great, Lesby Friends, and Scrubversive. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.